Hello and welcome to another Crusader Kings 2 Game of Thrones playthrough. Um, I thought I'd um, change things up and play as the Night's Watch under Lord Commander Jon Snow. So, if you are not up to date on the series or you don't want to ruin uh, the next couple of books, I recommend maybe watch my old series and wait for that to come out because this will contain spoilers. Even though it'll probably only be a short feature as I am playing Jon Snow, so if Jon Snow dies, series over. I'm not playing as a night watch, I am playing as Jon Snow. So let's get started. <laughs> This is effectively a let's play of Jon Snow. So now we have good old Stannis the Manis starting us off with this pop up again. Right then, let's pick an ambition. You know what, let's play by Jon. What would Jon want to do? Think he'd more want to be prestigious, wouldn't he? Lord John. Dick Follard. Only a skilled fighter, are you sure? Unmarried? Well, we can't marry, can we? Brother of the Night's Watch. Um, what can we do? What can we do? Establish a household guard. 50 gold. I don't think there's much else we can do. Let's go for it. have a look. Oh, in this one, of course, Brandon and Rickon are stayed as dead, even though they're not. Um, Arya and Sansa are both died, possibly only went missing. And Lady Jane Arya, the other Arya, who I think is Jane Paul, who they married to Ramsay Snow. Um, she's just Jane Paul. She was seen in the first series, hanging out with Sansa at the the feast. But she's not their child. And they, the Boltons married her to Ramsay, saying, "Yep, she's she's Arya." Try and get some legitimacy, I'd I'd say, over the North. But no, she is not. But then we've got Lord Ramsay of Winterfell. Hanging out in Winterfell, are you, Ramsay? And of course, Lord Paramount Roos, the Leech Lord Bolton. And his wife, Walda. Walda Frey. The neck does not acknowledge his rule. Good on you, Harlan Reed. Uh, where's Jojen then? Jojen is back there. Where's Mira? Mira is away with Brandon Stark. It doesn't say that. We also have the Glovers, not acknowledging the uh, Boltons. Lord Great John Umber was not killed at the wedding. Do not worry. But he's still in prison and a formidable fighter. John Small John, however, was. So that's a shame. Um, Lord of Carhold. Harrion Carhold. He's still alive. It was his two brothers that died in the war, and of course, his father. So then. They're all at war with Stannis the Manis then. Stannis. Stannis is just hanging out down there. Where's your capital then, Stannis? It's not a Dragonstone. A Night Fort. Stannis has the castle here, does he? That's what he's done, he's gone and taken a castle up here. Okay then, right, uh, let's get the clock started. Under our life of John. 
Ah, a gathering of lords of the realm. Courtier Lothar and his men of House Frey got into an ugly confrontation with one of my kinsmen. Where much dark blood was spilt, our houses are now locked in a deadly feud. Right. John wouldn't be up to no good anyway. Right, House Stark will not forget this. Will it, Jon Snow? The wall is mine. With the aid of Stannis Baratheon, we have repelled the wildlings. And now I have been chosen by my brothers as a Lord Commander of the Night's Watch. Stannis' struggle for the Iron Throne continues, however. He proposes that I be his Lord of Winterfell. Right, well... Let's try and think of John here. John would want to still be Lord of the uh, Black of the Night's Watch. But Rob did um, write in his will that John be legitimised and made King of the North if he was the fool. And Lord Mage Mormont knew that. I think I think she was one of the ones who knew. So I'm gonna assume here that John gets told that. And he decides, right, I'm gonna be Lord of the North and I'm gonna help out the wall wherever possible. So yes, let's change the series again when we might only play as Jon Snow and see how far he gets. Or he might continue afterwards. We'll see. Titles North. Who's this? As part of his grace's offer to me, King Stannis has offered me the hand of Lady Val, the wildling princess in marriage. She's the most beautiful woman and resourceful as well. Lady Val. Attractive, trained fighter, brave. Yeah, Jon Snow, me. No one to pay it. Um, winter is coming, all the good stuff. So, now, we are at war with the North. We are at war with the invasion of the Stormlands by Lord Aegon of Essos, who claims to be a um, Targaryen. He claims to be the Targaryen son of Rhaegar, who the Hound was supposed to have killed, but... I'm going to say I don't believe it. We're also at war with King Tommen of the Iron Throne. And his allies. In Stannis' war. Northern Stepstones have joined us. Quite a few other people as well. So that could go well. But first, let's take the North in my name. So I have the North. And what does Bruce Bolton have? The other north. Right. Okay. Is that all I have? Just these men. I have. Do I have any courtiers? Wildlings. Um. Right. Let's select you there. Wait. No. Do I need you? I don't have any land to do anything really with. Um. Select you there. Select. Master Arms, select Craster. Craster who? Um, Master Whisperers, then a Maester, and then a Priest, Howard. Siege Leader. Um, North of the Wall has just gone. Gorge, Lord, Lord Tormund, Giant's Bane. Is hanging out. Uh, the Fens. Mega Sigorn of Fen is hanging out up there. So, yes. Their only ally is the crossing. So, let's go. See what I can do with my 700 odd men. In the name of Jon Snow. See, I have no air. Um, will my wife give me an heir? Or just some lowborn wildling? 
Maybe that wasn't the best option, but was playing, trying to play as Lord John. So let's go. Can I attach? Right, yeah, let's just attach. Let's go hang out with Stannis on full speed, because I can't do anything. Um, no. No. Jon Snow would not have had a bastard. He's made very clear how he feels about that. Um, but we'll go for the piety option. Even though that wouldn't have happened. I have Longclaw. A direwolf. Chitamire's bastard. Proud. Brave. Ah. Lord Stannis wants to give me a job, does he? What does he want me? Master of Laws. Go for it. Got quite good stats, Jon Snow. Although, as Starks go, we do have zero intrigue. Who's this then? Somebody's helping. Yes, I clicked on you. Um, yes, we have plenty of help from all the Northern Lords. And Salador San. He is the black guy in the shows who hangs out with Lord Davos Seaworth. Here they say he is white, with white hair. I think in the show they need a few more black guys, so yeah, we'll allow that. Peter Littlefinger. Marrying himself to Lady Sansa of the North. No, I would not. John would. <sighs> John's busy at war. He's honourable. He's got more important things to do than that. Ah. So I do have a daughter. I think he would name her after Aya, his loved lost sister, would he? No, Lyanna. Let's name her after your supposed father's supposed sister, who is not supposedly your mother. Right. Although I do fear if we do take over the north, it will seem as a continuation of my last series where I basically ended it as Lord of the North. We have now reached 100%. So, yes. Lord Paramount Stannis has won his war and raised me up as Lord of Winterfell. Good. I now have the North. Been about five minutes. Who's in charge? Are you in my jail? Imprisoned by Lord John Paramount Jon Snow. Right. You betrayed my family. I am Jon Snow. You will be executed. Yes, always the old way. You, Lord Ramsay, you have done some vile things. You will be executed. Did I... Did I exile him? By accident. Um, maybe. Right, let's sort these guys out then. Lord of Ramsgate, please... Uh, must of coin. Collect taxes in Winterfell. Um, pacify province in Winterfell. Train troops in Winterfell. 16 Wyman. Build a spy network in your home county. A priest. I'll have someone who can actually do it. You can, you can convert them. And a maester. I do not have a maester. Let me have a maester, please. Off you go, Jon Snow. Army levies. We now have the north. Brilliant. Um, Army of Lord Jon Snow. Yeah, they're rare news. 191 guys. Never mind. We now have new heir. I have a daughter. Is this only men can inherit now? <laughs> Right, give me a son, please. It's 
Lord Roderick of the Rills. Why would he inherit the North? Right. Um, he'll be of use on the wall. Ah. Right, yes. One bastard left the wall. Another's on his way. You can have Ramsey. <laughs> I totally had that planned when I accidentally clicked exile. Um, so, you are Flint Keep. You are supporting... You're supporting the Iron Throne. I don't think there'll be anyone here. It will rebuild. Um, let's see who we can get up here. You guys basically go see that. Where's Rickon Stark, King of Skagos? He should be over here somewhere. We're in the show, they sent him to the Umbers. Either way, he should be around. Then I think that'd be more than enough guys to seize that. He's only got He's only got nine hundred there. I mean whoops. What the car stark's up to. Really marching everyone south again. You're attacking Lord Paramount Edmore. In Velman War for Lord Peter's claim on the Riverlands. Right, so the Vale is attacking these guys to put him in charge of the Riverlands. For whatever reason. So Edmure Antali is here. With his Frey wife. Brendan the Blackfish. They finally got him to marry, did they? I wonder how they did that. Um, I might have to march north or uh, south. I'll see what I can do in a bit. Wanna just take out this guy first. Seventy seven hundred, right, you one thousand five hundred. I'll lead you, I am Jon Snow. Jon Snow is a good man, I'll take my best people with me. We'll go fight these guys. At the wall. Jon Snow, Lord of the North. Bet he's loving it. Did he just put down all his men? Good, give me a son, please. Nope, he's still there. Now, John, please don't die. Ah, Direwolf is a fine companion to have in battle. As we charged forward, your Direwolf threw itself against the enemy, tearing scores of men to pieces. Many fled in terror before its wrath. Fearless savagery embroiled, emboldering our men. Plus 10% morale. Okay. We smashed them. And then we rushed over the walls and we killed 13 guys. Losing two. Probably a couple of lucky arrows on the way in. Right, let's just finish off this siege. Travellers bring rumours of fire and blood. They say that Rhaegal has escaped from the dungeons of King Aegon of Marine and has built a lair in Marine. King Aegon Targaryen. You have married your is that niece? Cousin? So you're the son of Rhaegar. No, you've married your auntie, who is younger. Very Targaryen of you, even though you're not a Targaryen. Are you really? No, I don't think so, mate. Alright, come on, boys, let's take this out. Oh, there's another one. Let's storm the castle. Brilliant. Everyone, done our job up north. The north is clean. Um, thank you for watching the first episode of a Let's Play as Jon Snow, I think I'll call it. Um, it looks like it'll be interesting. 
We've got John in charge in the north, and we'll basically continue from... Right. That was not expected. So King Euron Greyjoy decided he was going to attack these guys whilst they're weak and take that. Okay, well, this is going to be interesting. So I'm going to play as Jon Snow. So, see you next time. Goodbye.